In the race for City Council Ward 4, incumbent Jennifer Geisler picked up the most votes with 3,170. Challenger Jeff Cosman received 2,801 votes, or about 53% to 47%. Jennifer joins us now. Thanks for coming in and talking to us. Thank you for having me. How does it feel to win another term on the City Council? I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I think I've enjoyed my time on the City Council. I think that there's more um, for us to do. I think we're working towards, you know, really looking at things that we can do within the city to start to handle the redevelopment, to look at the, the changes that we need for the citizens coming into the, to the city. And, you know, after spending so many years on planning, the, yeah. the housing and the people of the community um, are a priority for me and how we make that work. Because if I've got a good, solid community, I can get the businesses to come in, right? So yeah. they need the residents and it's a symbiotic relationship. So keeping to move that forward is gonna be exciting for me for the next four years. All right, talk to us about when did you start on the council? I started in 2014. Um, it was when Mayor Cook was, won his mayor election. Mm -hmm. So his seat was Ward 4 and he, um, that seat had to be filled. So I was appointed for the two years and then I won my first election in 2016 and then now this year. Okay, so this is your technically your second full term second full that you'll term. be starting in 2021. Yep. So I, at the end of this year or January, I'll have finished six years. Okay, and you were on the planning commission for how long before that? 14, 16 years, somewhere okay. in that range. Um, and then before that, economic development, um, and then a couple other task force, so. Okay, for folks that may not know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your family? So, married, husband Jeff, one son Chris, um, daughter-in-law Jess, grandkids Haley and Cameron. Um, they all live in the city, so that's great that we get to see them. Um, I've been in the city since 20, oh, 1983. Okay. So just right after um, we got married, we moved to Coon Rapids and we're on our fourth home in the city. <laughs> just moved around, um, but love it here. And so been great to be here. All right, let's talk about, uh, obviously you've been on the council for uh, about six years now. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about some of the accomplishments or things that maybe you're most proud of during your time on the council? Yeah, well, I think the, the biggest things that, that we've done, um, we're finally getting Port Riverwalk going. You know, there was work and then the 2008 recession and everything died. And so starting to see a lot of work there, the Riverdale transit oriented um, development areas, and then just enhancements along, um, you know, from the ports around Mercy, the additional upgrades at the hospital, the medical buildings, and we've done a lot of work also down in Port Evergreen that that's being updated mm -hmm. and just we're getting into revitalizing the whole boulevard and I know we've got a lot to go, yep. um, but we're definitely moving in the right direction. All right, what about uh, maybe things that weren't accomplished during your uh, first six years and what you maybe <laughs> want to try to get accomplished here in the next four years? Um, well, to me, it's not necessarily what maybe did or didn't get accomplished. It's there are new challenges and having to look at what are the challenges from today. Um, COVID is going to be here probably, you know, at least another year affecting how we can do work in business. Um, with all of the bigger companies saying, no, you don't go back to, to the offices till mid next year, 2021. Mm -hmm. So looking at how that affects our services that we provide for the community, our, how it changes our tax base and our income stream of what we are possible to do within the community. And that to me is how can we really be making sure that the community is prepared and to support our businesses, to support our residents and get through this more uncertain time, I think is going to be a focus for the council over the next probably year, year and a half, um, because in 2022 is when we'll probably feel the bigger budget hits mm -hmm. um, from what we've 
um, had impacts from this year into the how the taxes roll through. Yeah. Um, so it's really how do we build that and then looking at again more revitalization because we are a very built out city. Mm -hmm. How do we um, bring you know more businesses in but to bring a business I have to have the the consumers mm -hmm. to be able to support that business and working on those with um, builders and developers to ensure that we're getting good projects in our city mm -hmm. to be able to keep it vital um, and upgraded. And then probably the other thing that we'll be talking about mm -hmm. is the potential expansion of the recreational center by the ice arena. And while there's a great desire for that we're looking at what is the need for that and what is how, can we afford it you know yeah. but to be able to look at how do we have amenities and things within the city that drive value to our residents yep. that bring good residents that bring then the businesses with them to support those residents all right. Obviously, you did some campaigning during the course <laughs> of the last couple of months. Uh, what did you hear from folks when you knocked on doors? Well, I didn't do a lot of door knocking, okay. which is, you know, I, from a COVID perspective, okay. I um, wasn't necessarily comfortable reaching into that space. Yes. So I did a lot of other kinds of more socially distanced conversations. Yeah. Um, the, you know. To be honest, the, one of the bigger conversations over the last six months has been the cruise. Mm -hmm. Ward 4 is heavily impacted by that. Yep. Um, we'll be working on that as a council over the next couple of months to look at how can we make it work best for all of our citizens yep. um, and what type of things do we maybe need to do differently as a city. Um, and those are the kinds of things that people talk about. It's yeah. things that affect their day-to-day -day lives. Can mm -hmm. I sit in my living room and watch TV on a Saturday night? Yeah. Um, can I make sure that I have a grocery store to go to? Yeah. So it's it really comes down to things that people want to make sure that their lives are good in our city. Yeah, so more quality of life, life issues. Exactly. Because we know oh, at the end of the day we're all paying taxes, right? Exactly. Yep. So. All right. Well, that's all I have. Is there anything else you want to add? Well, I would just say thank you to everybody in Ward 4, number one, for voting for me, not for me, um, and that I am always available for you to reach out to if you have any questions, and I look forward to serving the residents of Ward 4 and actually the whole community for the next four years. All right. There you have it, Council Member uh, Ward 4, Jennifer Geisler, who will be coming up here serving her second full term in yep. 2021. Yes. All right. Congratulations. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you.